What's up, booktubers? Sandy back here, and I want to talk a little bit about a book that I just got finished reading. It's a book that was on my shelf for a while, and for some reason I didn't get around to it as soon as I now wish that I had gotten around to it, and that is Ace of Spades. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ace of Spades, spoiler free, next. So the book Ace of Spades really centers around two characters uh, who are uh, black characters who are at a prestigious school and they uh, find out that they're not there by accident. And this, uh, the subtitles here on the front is, how do you stop an unknown enemy? And so part of this is a mystery to find out not only who is behind this plot to take them down, but also from a mental health and perseverance standpoints, as they are being terrorized, they have to find a way to fight through this, to not quit as others before them had, to find out what in the end is behind everything. So this book checks a lot of boxes for me. Uh, there are many things that I like about this book set at, a, at an elite school, an elite uh, private school, and there are interesting characters in this, and there's a racial dynamic, uh, obviously, at the center, at the core of this book. Uh, even though it, it, when you read the book description, it, it doesn't necessarily scream that, it doesn't necessarily beat you over the head with it. But this is a book that I really enjoy it, it was um there were no big surprises so if you're looking for a a thriller type book where you're going to be like oh whoa there's a plot twist or the riley sager double plot twist at the end then you're maybe going to be a little bit disappointed with it but uh one of the things that really made me want to work through this book and finish it is not only that it was really solid storytelling uh it was also i wanted to see even though i kind of knew how it largely how it was going to resolve i wanted to see how they got from a to z and so that was part of what motivated me to see how they made it on the journey not necessarily um what the end of the journey was going to look like but how they got to the end is what i was going to uh, be most interested in now this book is definitely not for everybody it's definitely triggering it's definitely uh discusses some uncomfortable topics especially around race that are definitely going to be uncomfortable for some people and i totally get that um, there were some people, and I, I try not to read the reviews too deeply before I actually read the book. I usually wait and read the reviews after I finish the book, or at least go in depth reading the reviews after I finish the book. Um, so, so be careful, uh, those of you who are out there and you're looking at reviews first before really checking this book out. Just be very careful because some people were not excited about it because it doesn't have a lot of twists and turns. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you you kind of know how it's going to end, but it's their ability to solve the mystery, uh, kind of like the old Murder, She Wrote TV show from the, from the 80s and the early 90s. So it's really more, you kind of know how it's gonna end, but you just wanna see how do we get there? is is really what the story is about so it was a very fast read it's one of the fastest I've ever really read a book like legit read the book like not skimming like 20 pages at a time um, this was one of the fastest I've ever read I read it in a couple of days I know some of you cats are out there you're like oh man I read books in like one day one sitting uh, just with a glass of lemonade a beer coke whatever uh, Pepsi that you need uh, and I knock it out really fast I'm not really built that way. It took me a couple days, but I knocked it out pretty fast. I really could not stop reading it, except basically to go to sleep and to eat. Those were the only times that I really stopped reading this book. So Ace of Spades, definitely gonna be a contender for book of the year for me, but there's still some months left here in 2021. So we'll see. I got some good books ahead that I'm looking at reading, but right now this is definitely going to be a contender, at least for me, for book of the year. But there's some other strong candidates out there.